next guest takes on Kevin Angle at Shamrock FC Mayhem this Saturday night. Kyle Kurtz joins me here on the program for the very first time. Kyle, how are you? I'm doing great, man. How about you? Hey, fantastic, man. Glad to have you on the show. And uh, we were talking a bit off air there. Uh, you and I were supposed to do an interview before uh, your Bobby Volker fight. Uh, this was last year. And uh, your basement flooded. Uh, glad to see you're not underwater. I'm guessing the basement problem got fixed. Yes, sir, man. I got to it, it fixed that night. So, okay. luckily... It was uh, it was pretty bad, but we got it all taken care of. Yeah, I, I know. Back, does it all? I was going to say that must be a huge pain in the ass to have to deal with that. Uh, you know, being a homeowner. Um, now, as far as that Volker fight, uh, it, it didn't end up happening. What was uh, what was the issue there? I'm a pansy. No, <laughs> <laughs> I ended up having a knee injury. Uh, I ended up getting water on the knee, and uh, my knee ended up swelling up like three times the size, and. Uh, it was one of those things that, you know, I would take the fight, but my coaches and the doc would not accept. So, uh, you know, had to pull from it. But uh, I guess it happens. You know, first time I have to pull from a fight, but, um, you know, it'll happen again. You know, Bobby will hit, you know, we'll cross paths again. So absolutely and and like they say when it rains it pours right you you got the uh, no, no pun intended i should say but uh you know the, the the basement gets flooded and then you have the knee injury so the, the main thing though is you're fighting here uh, you got an awesome fight here coming up against uh, kevin angle but uh i want to go back a little bit in your career here uh, i know you made your amateur debut in 2014 and you made your pro debut last year fighting six times that's a lot for a fighter is that sort of a pace that you enjoyed fighting at or uh, was it kind of burning you out a little bit oh man well I I made my amateur debut back in 2011. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I got a little mixed up, but it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, man, the the pace that I like to, I like to go full speed, man. Um, uh, as long as I'm healthy, I'm, I'm going, you know, full force, uh, six fights in a year, uh, actually within 10 months, uh, you know, shoot, if I can have more, I would, but, uh, you know, to each his own. You know, people, people don't want to fight me or if they do want to fight me, you know, it, it ends up happening. I'm, I'm always down. So if the money's right, especially. And, uh, and along with fighting, what else do you do for a living? I'm a welder. Oh, cool. Okay. So, so uh, now, now how does that work? Are you, are you contracted or are you a guy that works for someone? Like, uh, as far as balancing the hours with training and competing, is that something that's fairly manageable? I'm working for the man. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Working for the man, uh, work in a shop building pellet grills and uh you know it's a good job and all but uh i'd much rather get punched in the face <laughs> I, I, I have made a video about that but you know honestly uh it's something i i love doing i i, I love uh i love the fighting atmosphere and uh you know welding i would love to do it you know as a hobby but um you know right now it's providing for my family and uh, it pays the bills. So uh, one of these days, uh, mixed martial arts will pay my bills. Well, it certainly will. And that, that starts uh, on Saturday. Like I said, they're taking on Kevin Engel. And what's interesting about this fight is I know you two were supposed to fight at Bellator 145. You ended up fighting Steve Mann. You got the win there. But how happy are you that this fight is actually coming to fruition? I'm very happy. Uh, this is a very high-level guy, a you know, kickboxer um, and a boxer. And... Uh, undefeated mixed martial artists so this will definitely look good for me um coming away with the victory um also you know at the same time if i if i were to lose this fight it it's not gonna do nothing and it's not gonna hurt me uh you know whereas if i was to fight somebody who's like two and one or something like that who, who doesn't have the greatest record and uh you know i just want to fight the best and uh they put kevin engel in front of me and i'm hoping to put him away but uh we'll just have to see saturday night only uh, only way to find out is, uh, you know, checking it out then. So, And how about training? Where are you training for this camp, and who are some of the people helping you get ready for Kevin Angle? Man, uh, you know, like I said, I'm a welder. Um, I'm working a full-time job, and then uh, once I get off of work, um, I make my way a couple hours, uh, actually like two and a half hours um uh, you know, after I get off work, so I'm having to scramble. As soon as I get off work, I'm going home and changing shower or everything. And then, uh, jetting up to St. Louis, uh, actually Hazelwood, Missouri. It's, uh, you know, North of St. Louis, but, uh, you know, MCS modern combat systems, all the beasts there. And, uh, down actually, you know, down in my hometown around, uh, Cape Girardeau, Missouri. Um, 
I work with my guys down here, a uh, bunch of beasts. But, uh, you know, it, it's a lot of hard work, you know, making the drive and stuff. And sometimes uh, I got to do a little crunch with, uh, you know, trying to try not to speed and stuff. But actually last year I ended up getting three speeding tickets. So, yeah, but, uh, you know, getting that taken care of. But uh, I got to I got to watch out for the lead foot. And people don't realize uh, what other stuff I got to deal with, you know, you know, my job and then having to drive far away to uh, get to my training. But uh, it's all part of it man. right now. Well, it's a sacrifice you make for, for your career and everything else. And, and I think it's great. And it's certainly shown in your record. Um, you know, I, if you get the win here, you'll be six and one. I know you're not looking past your opponent here, but, you know, if you do get the win, is the plan to, you know, make a jump back to Bellator, uh, you know, potentially go to the UFC? Is that kind of what you're looking at at this point? Absolutely. Uh, I just I just want to fight uh, on the best cards in the world. Uh, Shamrock FC is an awesome card to uh, definitely get my name out there and help me out. But the the main thing is, you know, everybody knows Bellator. Everybody knows UFC. Um, you know, my goal this year, I don't care uh, if it happens. I'm going to be super stoked. But uh, UFC undercard. By the end of this year, no matter what, that is my goal. So if I don't, I'm going to quit. No, no, not really. But, <laughs> I was going to say, yeah. Uh, no, uh, you know, I got my family, my wife and my three kids. Uh, you know, I don't get to see them as much. Uh, so it would be super awesome if I could do this full time and be able to spend time with my family. Uh, you know, everybody, every fighter's dream is is to do just that. But, uh, you know, no nobody you know, gets to, to have their cake and eat it too. But, um, this is what I'm hoping for this year. I mean, I've been doing this for a while now, so let's just uh, see where this takes me. Well, let's talk about that. I got to get a prediction for this fight. March uh, 12th. How do you see this one ending? I see this one ending. Um, honestly, I see me knocking him out. Uh, he's got great hands. He's got power, but he has no speed. Um, he has definitely slowed down. Uh, I'm not going to take anything from him uh, except for his age. And I've got 10 years on him. Uh, I'm 10 years his, uh, how do you, how would you say 10 years? I think it's elder or no, uh, junior. Yeah. 10 years, his junior. I'm the youngster here. So uh, hopefully the youngster can take away the cane and uh, beat him with it. No, (laughs) but I plan to beat him and, uh, no, I said something on social media that I plan to retire him. I think he got a little sore about that. But, yeah, man, that's my plan. I, I, I plan to retire everybody I fight. Um, you know, they're going to come in as hard as possible, you know, especially at that age. They're going to want to uh, impress the fans. But I'm going out there as if Dana White's out in the crowd watching this fight. You know, this is my audition in a way. So, uh, Dana White, where are you? I'm looking for you. I'm going to put on a show for you, you know, but, uh, this is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to knock him out in the first round. Uh, if it goes past that, it's going to be a submission. So good. I like it. Nice bold prediction there. Not, not tiptoeing around anything. I definitely enjoy that. And, uh, uh, Kyle, I want to thank you so much for joining me here on the program. Just remind my audience where they can find you on social media and give any thank yous or shout outs. The floor is yours. Okay. Awesome. Uh, I would love to give shout outs to, uh, cowboy pipe and tube. Uh, Outdoorsman International, Davis Glass, Holloway Carpet One, um, JNR Auto, uh, PX3 Mouthpieces. Um, goodness, I wish I had a list in front of me because it's kind of hard to remember them all. But Gladiator MMA, uh, Modern Combat Systems, um, Cash City Fight Club. Um, that's all I can think of right now. But you know what? I, I got to thank the number one sponsor of all. And that's God. And uh, I want to thank my wife, my kids, all my awesome family. Um, and my social media is Kyle Hertz Kurtz. Uh, Facebook, um, Hertzmeister underscore 15 at hotmail.com is uh, my email address. Um, I really can't remember all my Twitter and stuff like that. I'm I'm not really um, active. social media savvy, so to speak. Yeah, I mean my Facebook, I've been picking up on that and stuff. But uh, like um, Instagram, I think it's Kyle Hertz Kurtz as well, 
or Hertz Meister. But um, if you guys would check it out, you know, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, like my fan page, Kyle the Hertz Kurtz on Facebook. And uh, I think that's really all I got. 